you are my son. And I will always stand by you and support you. Even though I don't agree with most of what you do. What do you mean? I want that child your wife is carrying. I want her to put to bed. I want that child to be born. That child is going to be our heir. Angel must remain in this house. But what do you want me to do? Mama's presence will not keep her here for too long. I'm trying so hard to hold her down with the nudes that she's scared of at the moment. But I'm afraid that will not work eventually. I'm, I'm really worried. The next time, do not attack randomly. Attack the root. If Oma is busy and struggling with her own life, she won't have any time to spare for Angel. And when that happens, Angel will remain here and give us an heir. So, we need to find something to keep Oma busy. <laughs> hmm. What is the meaning of what you said? What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about, Mom. I overheard your conversation with Kizito. What are you trying to do? You're putting ideas in his head. What do you want to do? What every mother wants. To ensure that her lineage does not end. What exactly are you up to? It's very simple. I want that child that Angel is carrying to be born. And the presence of Oma in that family right now is doing me more harm than good. Because Oma is the wings on which Angel will ride and fly out of this family. And I do not want that. So what do you want to do now? You want to kill Oma? Goodness. No. I cannot kill Oma. I will not kill Oma. I just want her busy. Mom, if I know you too well, I know that you're an extremist. Well, you may have your good sides, but when you want to use your bad sides, you use it to the extreme. Let no harm. Come to Oma. You overheard me talking with your brother. Did you hear me tell him anything? You didn't tell him anything. But you know that Kizito is a ticking time bomb. So why are you fanning him like this? Why? Why are you making him feel that it's okay to do something wrong to Oma? Well, like I told you earlier, I will not kill Oma. I don't have any reason to. But if push comes to shove, I will not be held responsible for whatever happens. Even if it means you killing Oma, right? Right now, I am not thinking of anybody else. 
I am not thinking of Angel. I am not thinking of you. I am not thinking of Kizito. All I am thinking of is the heir to this family. The heir is all that is on my mind and I will do everything to get that heir. Even if it means you killing Omar, right? <laughs> like I said earlier, I will not kill Omar. I have no reason to do so. But if push comes to shove, I will not be held responsible for whatever happens. You want to sleep? Angel, you want to sleep? <laughs> you will not. Give it up, please! Give it up! Give it up, please! Give it up, please! You will. Give it up, please! Get up! 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 Something bad is about to happen. Definitely, it's going to be Kizito. Definitely. No, it's it's not a Kizito thing. This is beyond a Kizito thing. This is something that is going to affect everyone. Everyone is going to be shocked by it. This is something that could happen to me or someone close to me. And I'm scared, Jeff. For the first time in a long time, I'm scared. But I doubt it's gonna happen to me. I mean, who can hurt Omar? Right? Well, like I said, if there's anybody anything is gonna happen to right now, the only person I see is Kizito. Because that's the only person on my target list. I swear to God, do you know how I feel right now? I feel like I just see man, chuck him something on his head, or maybe if I'm passing, just shoot him from behind, or do something oh, bad to him. Calm I swear. down, Jeff, calm down. You, you're so hyper. Always want to attack. I don't understand. Oh my, I have one question for you. What is the difference between you and I? Okay, the difference between you and I is that I use my brains. Mm -hmm. But you just want to jump into a burning fire without thinking. And then you start complaining when it burns you. Uh, my body is hot. I don't see Kitty, get down. I don't feel calm. I don't get patient. Oh, what? Calm down. Calm down, bro. <laughs> you need to learn. Or you will learn in a hard way. You see, people will always manipulate situations. And so when you throw your tantrums or show your anger, people will consider you as the bad person. But the person who wronged you, people will pity them because they manipulated you. So you have to learn how to use your brains when dealing with manipulators. People like, you know who? Kizito. Well, like I always say, I'll always be me, unapologetically. I love my ways and that's it for me. 
This feeling when I have the strange feeling something bad always happens. Hey, relax. Kizito, this one you came to my room, I hope all is well. You know you made a valid point about getting Oma in check. But what you didn't mention is how we go about it. What do you mean? So, I agree with you that Oma is our biggest problem. I totally agree with you and I've said it too. I know that as soon as Oma goes down, Every other person will go down. But then, what do we need to do to get her busy? Or should I just eliminate her? Get that thought out of your mind. Everybody's eyes are on Oma. And you don't want to do anything that will put everybody's eyes on you. Besides, everyone knows we have issues with Oma. If anything should happen to her, they know where to look. Oh, find something to keep her busy. That's all. Um, okay. But you are the mastermind behind this whole plot. So you tell me, what do I do? Because Oma is trying to get Angel away from me. And I cannot live without her. My life will literally end if I don't have Angel in my life. So, you tell me, what do I do? I am willing to do anything. Whatever you suggest. Don't worry about it. Just let things lie. By tomorrow evening, I should have an answer. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> 